In this video, it's time for the battle of the high street hairstyling brands. We've all been there lads, you walk in to your local drugstore because you're looking for a hair product to improve your hairstyle. And when you get to the men's aisle, you have a look down it and there is just absolutely tons and tons of products to choose from. And this can be confusing, overwhelming, you don't know which products actually are going to work for the style that you want. Which products are good and which ones just don't do the business. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing four of the leading men's hairstyling brands in the UK that you can find on High Street. And I think that all of these are available, at least in Europe, potentially the US as well. I'll be running you through my thoughts with regards to each of the hair product ranges that these brands offer. And I'll also be forcing myself to choose two of the best products from each of the brands. So we'll be comparing L'Oreal Paris, Schwarzkopf, VO5, and fish. And the reason that I'm selecting each of these products is because they both have a significant amount of product available at the two leading drugstores in the country, Boots and Superdrug. And these are also budget products too. Each of these products is below seven pounds. I think it's time to get cracking. So do you wanna come join me in the lounge? Okay then chaps, so I've got a selection here of some of the hair products from each of the individual brands. We've got L'Oreal, Schwarzkopf, VO5 and Fish. All the product links that I'll mention in this video are in the description below, so if there's a certain product that you see that you like, you can go and try it for yourself. Let's begin then with L'Oreal Paris. These are one of the most well-known brands when it comes to women's hair, and they've been doing men's hair products for quite a while now. And the immediate thing you'll notice with the L'Oreal Paris products is they are big hefty things. When you compare them to something like the VO5, you can see when it comes to the quantity, it's two to three times the size. And this may seem like a good thing. You may be thinking, oh, well, it means I'm gonna get loads of my product because these here are a similar price. In fact, some of these L'Oreal Paris ones are actually cheaper than the smaller containers from the other brands. All of the products I've got here are from their studio line range. So you'd expect them to perform quite well, maybe to a salon quality. But do they actually do that? Well, the ones that I've tried really are not very good. First things first, you've got the packaging. They have individual numbers on them. So I don't know if you can quite see that with the camera. This one is number four, this one's number five, this one's number six. What does it actually correlate to? No one seems to know. At first when I looked at these, I thought it was something to do with the hold factor. I thought that the bigger the number you went, like number six for instance, would be a stronger hold than the number four. But the guys at L'Oreal don't seem to realize that this can be quite confusing because actually these numbers don't seem to really correlate to anything. In terms of the products that come in the tubs like this, overall performance wise, they just suck. The main problem being is that they lack any sort of volume in the hair. Also, several of these say strong hold. This one says strong hold. This one says 24 hour hold. Is that actually the case? Definitely not. You're very lucky if anything like this lasts you more than an hour in the right position. Maybe that's why they make them in such giant tubs, so that you have to keep using them all the time. Who knows? Out of the main tub selection, the best one i found is number five, but still, it's not very good. The two best products that I've chosen from their range are slightly different. They're not in the tub form. I've got this tube of the Matte and Messy Shine Free Fiber Paste. That's number eight. This is one of the few products that they make as a post styling product that actually seems to hold relatively well. Also, it is a matte finish and it has some reasonable volume in the hair. Also, the Boost and Gloss um, number seven volume mousse is a quite good pre-styler. Volume wise, it's quite good. I think that it does well in getting your hair into the position that you actually want. But as a whole, L'Oreal Paris hair styling range, I'd probably, in most cases, recommend to avoid this one. Bold claims that they just don't live up to. Next, let's take a look at Schwarzkopf. This is maybe a slightly more popular brand among men. Right off the bat, you'll notice that this is a very colorful section of the table. And this brings me on to my first area of concern with regards to Schwarzkopf. As you can see, there's no real ranges with their products. You can see even just here on the table, I've got all sorts of these different mini ranges, which I just don't think works very well. This Power Wax, for instance, is part of the Pro Styling range. And then we've got the Molding Paste, which is from the Phenomenal range. Then I've got an Eye Styler from that range. Then I've got other stuff which just seems to be more of a standard 
got to be range in these strange shaped tubs. Then I've got stuff from the Super Soft range as well. The main problem with this is if you've previously bought a product from that brand that you like, you can't really find anything else that's within the same range. There's a lot of products to choose from and it can be a little bit confusing at times. Thankfully, they aren't like the L'Oreal Studio line. They actually do quite a bit more with your hair. Two of their most popular products that I see quite often on the shelves at the moment is the two in these strange shaped tubs. We've got the Made For Mess Texturizing Putty alongside the Beach Matte Surfer Look Matte Paste. And on the front of these, they give a brief description of what they should do, and then they also give a hold number. But the problem is, guys, they don't tell us what the number is out of. So it says here, for instance, on this one it's hold number three, on this one hold number four. Is that out of five? Is that out of ten? Is that out of four? You won't know because they don't tell you. And I know from my experience, at least, when I'm going out there shopping for hair products, that can sometimes affect what I choose off the shelf. But then again, I wouldn't want them to lie like L'Oreal have done on some of these and pretend that it's a 24 hour hold. I've tried both of these products all the time. The matte paste is okay, but I think there's better ones out there already. The texturizing putty, however, is a pretty good budget product. You can get quite good volume with this. It still looks quite matte, performs hold wise better than the other one. If you're after a super cheap product, then Schwarzkopf do quite a good one, which is the Pro Styling Power Wax, which usually retails around £1.50 in the UK in most body care stores. It's a bit like a cream gel, but actually performs much better than any of the studio line from L'Oreal. I find that with Schwarzkopf in general, they've got quite a lot of good products, but then they've got a load of products that just suck. For instance, the Got To Be Eye Stylers Texture Clay, which everyone seems to be raving about online, it was mainly popular a couple of years back. It absolutely sucks. Zero holds, can't keep any volume in the hair, feels like you haven't really got a product in. Uh, I found that to be the case with several of the eye stylers mini range that they do. Also one of their new products, the Volumaniac Root Lifting Spray, which looks amazing, you know, Volumaniac, you want big volume in your hair a lot of the time. Try this out, it just doesn't perform, leaves your hair feeling sticky, lacking volume and structure, not the best. But then on the flip side, They've got some really great products, such as the Super Soft Mousse, which I've talked about before. If you want a mousse that gives you insane volume for basically no money at all, because it's that cheap, this is fantastic. Also, the phenomenal range that they do, which only seems to contain a couple of products, is actually very good. I've been using this molding paste for quite a while, works quite well. The hold isn't the best, but you can get good volume in the hair and it holds okay. They also do quite a good range of hairsprays too, unlike a few of the other brands you see here on the table. If you've got medium to long hair, the volume hairspray is quite a good one to choose. If you've got short hair, then the Got To Be Glued is one that I used to use all the time, really holds well for long periods of time. But if I had to choose the two best products from their range that I've tried, I'd probably go with the Super Soft Volume Mousse and the Phenomenal Molding Paste. Them two perform really well again for a nice budget price. Now it's time to take a look at the market leader here in the UK when it comes to men's hairstyling, which is VO5. And you can immediately see here that with this range of products, there is actually some brand alignment. All of these products are actually in the same colour, so you know that from the same company or for the same target market. If you buy one of their products that you like, I think that you're probably more likely to buy another one because it's part of the same range or same colour scheme. VO5 is popular because the marketing's good, because the performance of the products is quite good, and I think because they haven't got any products that are particularly terrible. There's quite a good baseline where you can rely on their range of products to actually do stuff. But there is only one issue really with this, and that is that the range of VO5 products is massive. I've only got eight here on the table, but from what I can tell, they're bringing out new products all the time, and there must be 12 or 15 at the moment. And as a guy going into the drugstore, this can sometimes be a bit overwhelming. What do I choose when you've got so many options? I think they really need to just scrap some of their worst performing products and focus on the ones that are actually decent that people want to buy and use again. The texturizing gum is very average. Their rework putty again lacks any sort of structure and hold which for most hairstyles isn't very good. Their matte clay is one of the products that loads of people online seem to focus on. It always seems to be a best seller for them. I'm not really sure why. It looks and feels like a clay. It's definitely matte finish when you put it in the hair, but in terms of overall hold and volume, I really don't think it's the best. They also have two types of pastes and two types of fibers as well, you know, just to keep things simple for you. 
Both of the fibres do quite a good job of getting texture in the hair, for getting volume into the hair, but I'm not sure really why they're both needed because they perform very similarly. If I was to choose one, I would choose the boosting fibre, which is the one that's blue, it looks like blue tack inside. The two products that are my favourite out of the VO5 Extreme Style range are the matte paste, the matte rework paste, and the lifting paste. And this is for slightly different reasons. Um, the lifting paste is very good at getting your hair up and in the lifted position if you want it. Um, the hole isn't fantastic, but it's still good. Uh, the matte rework paste, on the other hand, has quite a high hold for a rework product. It's also got a nice matte finish. This is one of their newest products and it's certainly worth trying. They have a product from the woman's range, which actually performs really well and it's really cheap. This is the VO5 Plump It Up Amplifying Blow Dry Lotion and this one is pink, yes, but it does a good job. It definitely increases your volume, it's got heat protection in there as well so you can spray this on your hair before you use a hair dryer and your hair plumps up slightly. It's not extreme volume to the same extent as the mousses are, but it's still a good option. We now move on to probably the least well known of these four brands on the table, which is Fish Soho. The fish products have been some that I, I've been very surprised with. The fish products have been ones that I've seen on the shelves for a while, but I've never really been tempted to buy them for whatever reason. Until a few months back when I picked up some of the Super Fish Paste Matte Putty from the shelf in Boots, tried it and I was blown away by the performance. I was so pleased in fact that I then bought another one of their products which is the Fiber. That was really good too. So then I just emailed them and said, look, if you can send me all of these products, I want to try them all out and include them on a video just like this. Not sponsored or anything, I just wanted to give you guys the best feedback for this video that I can. Each of these products are in the same price bracket as all the rest of the products that I've featured so far. In terms of overall performance, I feel like the baseline in terms of performance for the fish range of products is probably the highest out of all of them. The biggest issue that I found with the fish products at first was trying to decide which colour scheme to go for because I picked up two products which both were described as fish fibre, firm hold, super matte texturising, all exactly the same things. And when you're looking at them on the shelf, you look at these and you'll think that they're both the same product just like I did. But they're not because I've tried them, they smell different and they perform different too. I did a bit of research and it turns out that each of these different colours is a different range and each of those ranges aims to give you a different type of hairstyle. So the red one is the super hold sort of hairstyles, the blue stuff is more for texturizing and lower hairstyles, and the black range, which is the platinum, is actually for more sweeping hairstyles. But the problem is, when you're in the store looking at them on the shelf, you don't know that. Uh, and you could buy the blue one, thinking that it's, you know, firm hold, if you want a nice sweeping hairstyle and you just would never know. I for instance much prefer the black version of the fish fibre. I find that for the hairstyles I want it performs way way better than the blue version. So that's what they need to work on but several of the other products I've tried have been pretty good. The three best products that they make in my mind is the fish platinum, the black fibre, I think that's a good one. Um, the clay is also really good. To be honest, I think the clay is probably the best clay out of any of the ones on the table. If you're a fan of the VO5 matte clay, then I'd certainly recommend trying the Fish Original matte clay, because this one I find performs better in terms of hold, in terms of volume, than the VO5 one does. Well, their best product, and the one that they should really be pushing in my mind, is the putty, the Super Fish Hardcore Hold Putty. Again, they do do a blue version of the putty, but you want the red one. You've seen me mention products like Pete and Pedro Putty before on the channel, which is a product that costs three times more than this, and it, it's not much better than this. This, for the price, is an absolute bargain. The finish is matte, exactly how most of you guys would probably want. The hold is really, really good for a product at this price point. It's probably the best at this price point I've tried in terms of the hold. So if there's one product that I was gonna recommend really to you guys, from the whole uh, of these here, it would be the Fish Soho Putty. Fish do also offer some other types of products as well. These are, again, a little bit hit and miss. I've been using the Fish Styling Mousse for over a year. This one is fantastic, does exactly what you want, loads of volume, smells really nice too. However, one product that I'm not really impressed with and one that I'm not really gonna continue using is the Fish Sticks Hardcore Hold Hairspray, mainly because it just doesn't hold my hair in place very well. So that's the product that they need to work on the most 
Um, they've got rivals on the shelves like Johnny's Chop Shop who make a better hairspray in my mind. But what they do have is a really good dry shampoo. This is ideal if you're a guy with greasy hair, you can pop this in your hair instead of having a shower. Um, also, if you haven't used shampoo for a couple of days in your hair, then you can use this as a bit of a replacement. Smells delicious, also a good product. So overall, who is the winner? I'll put myself in a bit of a situation. Uh, let's say if I had to choose one of these hairstyling brands to use for the rest of my life without touching any of the others, which one would it be? At the moment, with the current range of products, I would probably say, I'd probably say fish. There is some products in there that I probably wouldn't use, but then there's other ones that are so good, such as the, the fiber, the clay, the putty, that that probably swings it for me. VO5 is pretty good. I mean, for a, a high street hairstyling brand, it does a good job, but there's no real killer product in their range. I think, oh, this is fantastic. It's a similar story again, with Schwarzkopf, I think these two are almost on an even playing field. Um, only problem with this is there's some products that are just terrible. Whilst they've got other products that perform really well, so it's a bit difficult for you to choose them on the shelf. And then last place definitely is L'Oreal Paris, which they just have a really disappointing range. Lads. I don't know when they pump so much money into sort of marketing and stuff like that, how these products can be so bad. But like I said, the two that I recommended to you earlier are pretty good. So if you know, you've only got L'Oreal Paris to choose from, they're the two I'd certainly go for. Anyway lads, hopefully you found this video useful so the next time you're heading into a drugstore you actually know what to look for. There's links to all of the best products from out of each of the ranges in the description below so you guys can check them out and try them for yourselves. If you want to see some more similar videos to do with hair products, I upload these pretty much every week so make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so YouTube will actually tell you when I upload and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.